Now, what is directrix and focus method? So, this is a definition for ellipse. It is the locus of point which moves in a plane so that its distance from a fixed point, which is called focus, and the fixed straight line directrix is constant and less than one. The ratio is called eccentricity. It is denoted by small e. So here, this horizontal line and this vertical line both are perpendicular to each other. Here, this vertical line is known as directrix, and the horizontal line on which we will get focus as well as vertex point. Vertex point is a point of curve. So here the distance from V to F and the distance from R to V. The ratio of this distance Vf by Rv is known as eccentricity and for ellipse this ratio is always less than 1. If you take any point on this ellipse, suppose P, so PF distance divided by PO distance, that ratio is always less than 1. For any point or ellipse, this ratio will be constant and uh, it is always less than 1. Now for parabola, it is the locus of point which moves in a plane so that it distance is from a fixed point and a fixed straight line direct rates is constant and is equal to always 1. So for the same directrix and for same conic axis, if you draw the parabola, so for parabola, a point of parabola P to focus and P to directrix O, this uh, distance of these two values are always same. So the value of the ratio is 1. If the value of E, eccentricity is always 1 for parabola. And for hyperbola, this ratio is always greater than 1. So here for this hyperbola, Vf by Rv is always greater than 1. So here focus to vertex distance is always greater than vertex to direct rates. For this particular P, Pf divided by Po is always greater than 1. So you have to remember the eccentricity for these three curves. Now let us draw one ellipse using directrix and focus method. So our data is like this. Construct an ellipse when the distance of the focus from directrix is equal to 50 mm. An eccentricity is 2 by 3. Draw the tangent and normal to the ellipse at given points. So, in data, we have given the eccentricity 2 by 3, means the ratio of vertex to focus by vertex to directrix is 2 by 3, which is less than 1. And the value 50 mm is a distance between focus to directrix. So, F1, R1 is equal to 50. Now from this ratio and this equation, we can find the distance between vertex to focus, which is 20 mm, because total 50 mm and ratio 2 by 3. So the distance between vertex and focus 20 mm and vertex to direct is 30 mm. Now how to construct ellipse? So first of all, draw direct its vertical line horizontal on which uh, R1 is direct its and on the axis we have to locate vertex and focus. So vertex is 30 mm from directrix and focus is 50 mm from directrix. Now draw a vertical line from V1. Now V1 center Vf radius draw one circle or R which intersect the vertical line at Q1. Now from draw a line from R1 passing from Q1 and also draw a line from F1 which is inclined 45 degree to axis. Here this angle is always less than 45 because V1 F1 is less than R1 V1. 
so here q1 v1 is always less than r1 v1 so this angle for ellipse is always less than 45 degree now v1 is a end of measure axis so another measure axis and is on this particular line so how can you find that for that draw a line from f1 45 degree intersecting point of this two line is one point and draw vertical line from that point which intersect the horizontal line axis this is always the another end of measure axis v2 so here v1 f1 is equal to v2 f2 and r1 v1 is equal to r2 v2 draw another directrix now the method for ellipse in directrix we have to take number of parts on this line between v1 to v2 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now draw a vertical line from 1 which intersect on the line r1 q1 at a similarly from 2 intersect at b and remaining also c d e f g now on vertical line v we have a point of ellipse v1 now on this vertical line of 1 if you want to find the point of ellipse then take a compass and set the radius 1a 1a radius f1 center and draw arc on this particular line upper and bottom side the intersecting thing of this arc and vertical line is a point of ellipse p1 and same method for line number 2 l2 to be radius f1 center intersect that arc and give the point of ellipse similarly 3c f1 center 4d f1 center 5e radius f1 center 6 f radius f1 center then obtain p6 7g radius f1 center draw r on 7 and top then p7 and last end of the major axis we do draw the profile of the ellipse now for normal and tangent select any point on the curve join that point to focus point and from f1 draw a line which is perpendicular to this line now this line intersect the directrix and from that line intersection point t you have to draw one line passing from the selected point on the curve this will become a tangent and perpendicular to that line from the point which is known as normal so this is a directrix and focus method for ellipse now the same method for parabola but in this method the eccentricity will be 1 because parabola construct a parabola which with distance between focus and directrix is 40 mm so the ratio is 1 so the distance focus to directrix 40 mm so v vertex is the midpoint of directrix and focus so vf f1 20 mm and v1 r1 20 so directrix and conic axis 20 mm 20 mm r v f now v center v f radius to r and draw a line from r passing from this point which is q so here this angle is always 45 degree right side of the view number of points 1 2 3 4 5 5 a b c d now one radius f center draw arc on this particular vertical line to obtain point of parabola v is one point of parabola on this vertical line on this vertical line which is passing from one there are two another point of parabola now on line number 2 by taking radius 2b center f intersect that arc 
torsion and torque. So if you extend this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you will get the long curve of parabola. So join all the points and draw the parabola. Now select any point as on the curve where we want to draw the normal and tangent. So first of all join this S point to focus. Then from F draw one line which must be perpendicular to SF and it, which intersect the directrix and from directrix draw a line passing from S which is known as tangent and perpendicular to tangent from S which is normal. And the hyperbola method, draw a hyperbola having eccentricity 8 by 5, the vertex V of which is at a distance 25 mm from directrix AB, find the distance of the locus F from the directrix. Here eccentricity 8 by 5, so Vf by Vr is equal to 8 by 5, we have given the distance vertex to directrix 25 mm. By using this ratio, you can find the distance between vertex to focus, which is 40 mm. So, draw one directrix, vertical line, conic axis, and insert three points R, V, and F. So, R, V, 25 mm is given, and V, F, 40 mm because eccentricity is 8 by 5. V center, V, F, radius to arc, the R cube line. The angle made by this line with horizontal axis is always greater than 45 degree. So extend the points after V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what, uh, whatever you want. Here I have taken only 3 points, 1, 2, 3. So this vertical line intersect this inclined line at A, 2 line at B, 3 line at C. Now to obtain the point of hyperbola, we have to take one A radius F center and draw R. Two B radius F center R. Three C radius F center R. And insert the points and trace the curve passing from all these points. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video.